I'm going to start with a one centimeter skin incision centered between the flexion creases of the wrist. Then you want to dissect down. I try to preserve the vessels if possible. So here's palmaris longus. And then with the second retractor, right here, the white fibers of the form fashion. We're going to incise those in line with the incision. And cheating towards the radial side. So there's the forearm fascia incision right there. Next step, we're going to start with the elevator, always lifting on the skin to lift up the edge of the ligament. All right, and as this elevator passes under, you elevate the hand and you can feel it on the tip of your thumb right to the edge. You can also pull it against the hamate to assure that you're not in Guillain's canal, that you're in the carpal canal. Next step with the elevator, we're gonna use the other end to scrape the synovium off the underside of the ligament, noting how far it goes into the edge at about three and a half centimeters. And then with a back and forth scraping motion, scraping the edge. Next step, use a series of dilators to dilate up the canal. Again, confirming about three and a half to the edge. Again, the larger size. Aiming straight down and just letting it go where it kind of wants to go at this point. So you can see the position is aiming between the web space, usually between the long and ring fingers right here. And now at this point, we're ready for the guide. This is marked right, this is a right hand, so we're using the right guide. It says right and left on the guides. Pushing it all the way in to at least four. And now using a roll towel under the hand to increase the working surface. That's what we got. There you go. We can use the probe to actually clean some of the tissue off the ligament. Finding the edge, back it up. Right here is your edge where the fat's protruding. There is the edge of the ligament. You can see the fibers right there of the ligament. It's the rasp. It's all cleaned off. I put my other hand on the guide to stabilize the guide so it doesn't move. Starting the cut. There we go. And you can hear the sound of the ligament cutting. Come on back up a little bit the other way. Proximal. There you go. Keep coming. And you take it right to the edge. Leave a little band there. And we can take a look. So there's the cut edge, complete cut all the way down. See both edges of the ligament, parallel lines, so you know you completely cut the ligament. Really nothing there, it's all gone. The other thing you can see is that you can see the light coming through the hand, which we didn't see that well initially, so you know you've cut it. Take the guide out. Get the scissors. And then you complete, connect the two cuts, which is almost connected anyway. We cut it all the way, but let's see it. There's the cut edge right there. Right here. So there's the cut edge. All right, you can put the camera back in, and you can see the entire cut edge of the ligament all the way down. All the way down. It just opens right up as you follow it. And then to complete the proximal portion under direct visualization, This is form fasciotomy. I just snip that, so I put a hemostat curve, hemostat right in there, under my edge, and cut it up, just like that. 